Okay, so no multi planet spawn. They've both spawned on this metal planet in the middle. Ooh, I think we should probably set up camera anchors, folks. I think we ought to do that, yes. <clears throat> So, okay, so in the white team, there's Brad Nicholson. Mr. Nicholson, the muscles himself. And in pink, Matisse Piel. Uh, towards the south. And the current reigning champion. For how long now? Six weeks. Good couple of months. <laughs> I'm thinking we have a quick look at the system here. Judging by the name of the system, I'm going to go ahead and guess this could be one that Brad has submitted for this tournament. Indeed it is. That He's is decided to apply for a rule change to have extra planets added, whereas previously they've only been stuck on single planet systems. You can see here he's gone all out for uh, Halley's, so anyone who manages to get Halley up on any of these three planets could potentially be looking at some planet smashing action. Oh god, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Brad is crazy. <laughs> That's why he's here. So, are we taking, we're taking bets for this. Are we taking bets that Brad is going to rush orbital here? I will bet you one shot that he's going to rush orbital. Uh, one shot? If only, this is, this is if only the metal now. planet was uh, smaller, he could build a Haley on the metal planet and then just rocket it into one of the moons and then just leg it off while it rockets with Matisse's commander still sat on it. That would have been hilarious. Right, we've got some scouting going in. Matisse has already scouted Brad. He knows where he is. Brad has not unleashed any scouting units as yet, so he does not know where Matisse is. Um, except that bomb bot, which you can see there, has got a very small vision radius. Just skimmed his base, but he's got no idea that his base is there. Yeah, they unfortunately those have got a massively vision nerf. And as with all bots, from what I can gather, docks are also pretty, pretty, pretty short-sighted. Uh, vehicle first is definitely the way to go. Although, having said that, Matisse, air first. Wow. Been out a I, think we should, uh, I think we should talk a little bit about the current meta with the air in this particular build. Because, I mean, I, I don't know if anyone watching this was watching the tournament last night, but we saw the dominant strategy there seemed to be, for the large part, going for significant air dominance. Oh, yes. Last night, with multiple games from a particular player called Andreas... Lots of hornets hovering over lava because, of course, you couldn't get any anti-air underneath. So it was all about who had more hummingbirds in order to counter. However, there is no lava in this system, so there is the ground anti-air option. Yet stingers are removed, so there's no bot AA anymore. Yet Brad is still going bots. An early idle factory there from Brad, which is um, probably not in his best interest. Having an idle factory this early in the game is very, very detrimental. It's going to really hamper his expansion. Definitely, although looking at his economy, he's still floating power as well, so he could probably just stop uh, building power with his commander for now, because he has enough pgens there to support a good six factories, so he could be building up with his commander rather than um, with those two fabbers, which are really susceptible to bomber snipes, although this micro here, why these bumblebees oh. st just managing to take <laughs> oh, it down. Brad fighting. <laughs> So I see, I see that Brad still likes his all bot strategies. Oh, as I say that, he built a vehicle factory. <laughs> He's even queued up a couple more bot factories. Going back over to Matisse's base, however, let's see how that's getting on. Sending out fabbers in a couple of different directions to expand, one being an air fabber down to the north pole. I say down, I really mean up, except I'm not used to not having Pollock on. Getting more vehicle factories out as well, bringing out some ants, <clears throat> or tanks if you like to call them that. And uh, so those are going to start streaming costs because, of course, Matisse does know where Brad's spawn is. Let's have a look and see if Brad scouted Matisse. The answer to which is no. The Brad still has absolutely no idea what's going on around him here, which, um, considering he's just saying, you see the absolutely minuscule vision radius in these bomb bots. They are absolutely useless scouting units, but yet he's insisting on spamming them out in every direction. <laughs> I mean, what he could do is sort of get them uh, on a planet-wide patrol, and then, of course, any expanding fabbers caught by them. Though, as lucky as that would be, they'd be a goner instantly. Now, uh, Brad actually tried. I had a game with Brad during the week. Brad tried this strategy on me then, which is a massive bomb bot rush, and I Did had it to say, work? it's <laughs> cripplingly, cripplingly ineffective. <laughs> uh, crippling for him, that is. Because they just get absolutely one-shotted by the, anything they come near. They can't see what's killing them. So they're just sitting ducks without any sort of support or radar coverage uh, system, which Brad has none. 
So he's just sending blind suicide squads out around the planet at this point. <laughs> They're getting close to the base, but of course they are going to get shot down by all of these tanks here. So he, at least he knows roughly where Brad, um, not Brad, where Matisse's base is going to be, sort of somewhere around where those bots died. That is an inference that can be made. However, looking at Matisse's expansions quickly, he's setting up shop now. He's got a couple of uh, tier 1 laser turrets and even a vehicle factory by the North Pole expansion. So he's definitely locking those down really early on before Brad sends out a whole bunch of bot fabbers to uh, all sorts of areas. Although, just have a quick look at... Um, I think, is that on a patrol pattern there? That little firefly to the... Um, just off to the north of Brad's base there. I think that's on a patrol. I'm not sure. Brad is doing a fantastic job here of grouping these yes, bomb bots up nicely so that any passing bomber kills a whole handful of them. He's spending all of his APM microing those bots, trying to keep them alive. And it's not working. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, wow. It's it's. He should probably be turning to vehicles now. Please, Brad. Please. I or think least... bomb bots... He has one. I think Indeed. bomb bots uh, versus bombers, I think, are uh, proving to be a very ineffective combo. Brad is not expanding at all here. He's got this little clump of mechs right here to the northeast of his base. He's got some nice easy expansions he could be working his way towards, which he's not doing. He's just spending everything. He's got all 58 of his metal compared to Matiz's 177 on bomb bots. However, Brad is still floating power. That is that is one of the main things. He's now bringing out a few docks. I think he's added those in now as well, so he's going to have a, a couple. Moving his commander away from his base, interestingly. Uh, I'm not sure why. Probably to go and take those mechs, or indeed, excuse me, move the commander in. <clears throat> um, but perhaps an idea for Brad at this point would be to go to air, because it only takes a couple of hummingbirds to take down those bumblebees. And Matisse's AA is not particularly massive at this point in the game. I think, I think my current advice for Brad would be do anything other than what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> that, that said, um, he has actually stopped the bomb bot production altogether now. All of those bot factories you can see now are producing docks instead of bomb bots. So I think he's sort of realised that that particular strategy isn't going to pan out very well. Oh, this Another is going to be a big kill. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's almost as if he wants them to die. <laughs> Matisse is currently setting up two proxy bases north of um, Brad. Oh well, yes, north and northwest. Brad is beginning to expand now with three bot fabs, no AA around them except that static anti-air turret. Aventail's now moving in from the south, so they're going to get a couple of faber kills, and that'll be a massive loss to Brad, who's trying to build up all of these bot factories, although it might be a kick up in the rear saying, oi, maybe I shouldn't be building those, and uh, transition might be in order. What is his commander doing? Have you noticed this? I think it's Rembo coming against Matisse. I think they are in Oh god. The the Mumble Channel, so maybe they're orchestrating a melee battle here. I'm not in sh entirely sure what's going on. They are, they are indeed I, in the same channel as one another here, so they're probably they're trash talking. I think it's quite obvious that Brad is going to try squat the other commander. <laughs> 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 he just needs there to lure Matisse away from his tanks, and then he can send in all those bomb bots and docks. <laughs> Except Matisse is not falling royal. for it. First person commander mode. Whoa. Well, this is going well for Brad. <laughs> All those. Uh, he's pulled back his army. I don't know why he's pulled them back. They should really be at the supporting him. I don't know what he's doing here. The Uber Cannon is not firing. He's being absolutely hemmed in, surrounded, and pounded, and here goes the pop any second now. Well, um. That was quick. That was, that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I think that that definitely warrants bringing Brad up here, and I think he needs to try and explain himself a bit. Hmm, headmaster's study. 